to another night of Berkshire bus. My name is Carly and I'm up on Upper Railroad with Pocket Merchant. Let's check it out. section. Pocket Merchant is uh, an improvisational jazz group, so they don't really start or stop like our other artists do, so I will walk away and you can hear them as I play out. Make sure that you come and shop at all of our wonderful vendor booths on Railroad Street. Uh, there is a table for a local food pantry here where you can actually find one of our buskers, Reese Shad. He is playing our late night tonight, so he will be around for a while, that's for sure. Uh, we are currently walking over to Zane Sylvester, who, if you remember from yesterday, uh, was here before, if you didn't know, we got a little bit absolutely drenched in the middle of Berkshire Bus yesterday. But you know, it was worth it, and uh, Lucky Bucket, who played on Lower Railroad Street, were so great about it. We had a great hour of them. Make sure you go back and check them out, because uh, we got some great videos. But anyway, here is Zane and Scott. That's me.
are you guys? Staying a little drier than yesterday? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's good. Yes, that is Zane Sylvester and his father. We are so glad that we got them for two nights in a row and that they wanted to come back after getting poured on. But you guys, we are headed over to uh, Tim Balanced, who is doing his first ever Berkshire bus tonight over at Rubiners. Even though we're in week 11 of 15, we still have plenty of new people coming all the time who either haven't played with us at all before, or we haven't seen since last year, including Paper Anniversary, who you're going to see on Lower Railroad later. They are this amazing family band who kind of divides their time in between Brooklyn and the Berkshires. We're so happy to have them back and they're going to be uh, around tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but next week's afternoon as well. But it looks like Tim's got a pretty good crowd going over here, so let's see what he's up to. We're going to play a little card game called the Can Knock Down Game. It's a relatively common and simple game, but we're going to make it a little more fun. So in order to do this game, we're going to need a few different items. First one being the bean bags to knock down the cans with. Here we go. But we're not just gonna start throwing bean bags at cans. That's not as much fun. We can do something a little more exciting first. After all, it's also a circus show. <laughs> I could not stop smiling that whole time. We are definitely going to have to find some way to get him back, whether it's next year or later on this season. Uh, if you are a busker, we have cancellations show up all the time. If you're not currently involved, you can always go on our website, fill an application, and we'll keep it on file if any openings come up. But here is Eli Elkis in front of Gorman Norton. I hear it keeps all the hands. I do want to get 
Berkshire Busk live stream right now. You've had a long day with us, huh? Yeah. How's well, it going? I had to jump in a river halfway through to keep myself <laughs> alive and going, but I'm feeling good. Keep you energized? You ready yeah. to do some more? <laughs> All right. Well, if you have a special one you want to have for our live audience, I'm, I'm here for come over this world and it's a new one to me. I just wrote it about a couple weeks ago. Awesome. <laughs>
love any song that puts a zoinks in it. Zoinks? <laughs> that one made it in somehow. <laughs> have a good night, Eli. Bye, That's Eli Alkis. We are always happy to have him with us. New to the bus this year, but this isn't his first time being with us. Uh, you can always see if he's in town because he has this big old bus that he travels with, so I think that builds a little bit of excitement personally. Uh, there's only one band that I don't think that we're going to catch on the live stream today because they played sort of a special time slot at the gazebo, so hopefully you saw the Dreamers there from 5 to 7. If not, scroll on through our Instagram, you'll see a video of them playing up there. Uh, yeah, we don't use the gazebo very often for us. That's a different concert series that Great Barrington does and includes many of the talented artists that we have at Berkshire Busk as well. So always make sure that you're going down and checking that out as well. I believe they're Wednesdays and Fridays from something like 5 to 7. But we are going to head back to Railroad Street right now and see how Paper Anniversary is doing. We are so happy to have them back with us right in front of SoCo. To this song as well. Um, it's called I Blame You. Fact that we never 
never go out. I blame you and every time I scream and I shout. I blame you for throwing out everything I have. And every time our kids are bad, I blame you. I blame you. I blame you. Ever since we said I do, I blame you for every time I'm feeling blue. I said that I'd be true I didn't have a clue But now I do So I I blame you And I will I guess it does get to My emotions on the fence You're the only thing that feels like common sense I have to say in your defense since they are one of our gold sponsors. Uh, they have donated this car with a bunch of stickers with all the other charities that they support uh, over the course of the year. We are walking over to one of our other gold sponsors, Calix, where we have Joel. He was here in the afternoon as well. I'll never forget that this year we've done afternoon busking from 2.30 to 4.30. Come on down, do some shopping, check out all the other wonderful acts that we have in the afternoon, and let's see how Joel's doing. Hey, how you doing? Okay. We are on the live stream. <laughs> I better do something good, huh? Oh yeah, the pressure's on. They're closing <laughs> us out today. Hours 
entertains the crowd that just formed in front of him in Calyx. And uh, yeah, make sure you come back. Next week is week 12 of 15, so we're getting down to the end here. We're here until September 3rd, and next week on Railroad Street, I know that Wacky Chad is coming back for the first time this year, and the Rollin' Rust who played Railroad Street last week are going to be back as well. It's going to be a great weekend, and I hope to see you there.